This video will cover interdesign constraints. An interdesign constraint is the ability to constrain a part to another part in a manner that causes the second part to change when the first part changes. While in part edit mode, if you use a face on an existing part as a sketch plane or to create a new reference plane, an interdesign constraint will automatically be created. In this example, a surface on an existing feature is used as a sketching plane for a circle. A co-radial sketch constraint is applied to the circle. When the circle is extruded, the Two Geometry option is selected. A face on the opposite side of the bracket part is used to define the other end of the cylinder. This constraint will be displayed in the Design Explorer under the Interdesign Relations node when we switch back to Assembly Edit mode. The Interdesign Constraint label, by default, lists the two related parts, the parent part and the associated part. After an interdesign constraint has been created, any change made to the parent part will automatically update the associated part. To break the interdependency, delete the interdesign constraint in assembly edit mode. If you do not want the new part to change as a result of other parts changing, it's a good practice to immediately delete the interdesign constraints from the main assembly as soon as you're finished working on the newly created part. This video covered interdesign constraints. An interdesign constraint is the ability to constrain a part to another part in a manner that causes the second part to change when the first part changes.